Billy, I have a question. Do you have any clue what is the deal with retribution? And are we ever going to get a reveal? Or is this going to be like Sasha and Bailey that'll go on forever, or like Paige and uh, Kenny Omega that'll go on forever? Um, I know who is under the mask. I spoke about that on, on Vince's show. I haven't got the notes in front of me now, but it's not. It's just NXT guys: Dijakovic, Dio, Matt, Dio Madden. Uh, me. Wait, 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 who's the second Dio, one? Dijakovic, Dio Madden. Uh, yeah, who's Dio Madden? I don't even know who that is. He was the uh, guy who was the announcer for a bit. Dio, as in Ronnie James Dio. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember him now. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So the, these are these are the guys under there. I'm not sure if they'll end up being it. The, the current plan at the moment. And I say current because this shit changes all the time. Is that um, they're only now on Raw, and the reason for this is because they want to do a draft in October, and they want to have a break from the Raw versus SmackDown versus NXT thing this year because it's going to be new people. So they feel like Retribution versus Team Raw could be something that they do in order to give that a, a one year break. That would be the plan at the moment. There was other meetings. Are you serious? So, just, so, so, so retribution is going to be like an like it's an actual like they they plan on them wrestling. They, they plan on them wrestling and they plan on them being just on Raw at the moment. They're looking at uh, potentially getting a Survivor Series main event out of them being a team against Team Raw. That's what they want to do at the moment. That that's the only that's the idea that they have in order to get around not doing this very old and repetitive Raw versus SmackDown versus NXT Survivor Series that we've seen. Also, the fact is is that with the way that the draft is scheduled at the moment. You would have guys that have been on Raw about two, three weeks turning around and saying, yeah, I'm going to fight for Raw. I'm passionate about my brand when you've only been there for three weeks. So that's actually like for WWE, that's quite logical because sometimes their booking is very illogical and they're trying and they're actually looking at this and saying, what kind of brand loyalty are people going to develop if they come onto this show just two, three weeks ago? So they're kind of looking away from that and they're kind of looking to just have a break from this format for a year and retribution would be the answer. And we've already seen on TV that they're just going to be on raw. Um, on top of that, there were numerous like meetings o- over the weeks because one of the, the main meetings stemmed from uh, Res- uh, WrestleMania and then having to them contacting uh, the authorities at LA and seeing what the possibilities were of running this show and getting these tickets up to which they've been told no chance. So one of the things I saw heard on Vince's uh, said on Vince's show that WrestleMania is like currently homeless so they don't know where it is. They don't know where they're going to put the tickets up. And during the course of these meetings, the, the main stuff that they that they had lined up for it was to have um, Big E and Sasha Banks win their Raw Rumbles. So I think that Sasha is supposed to sell this injury for like three months, which is crazy because they're going to actually think they, they care that much about a storyline for once that they may have somebody selling for, for three months. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if she comes back a hell in a cell and they chuck all these plans out the window. But at the moment, they have no home for WrestleMania. It's, it's They've been told it's not going to be on LA. They don't know when the tickets are going to come up. All they know is that they they currently want Big E and Sasha to win their Rumbles and um, Retribution to be something that they have for Survivor Series. But as I said, this is so week to week with WWE at the moment. It's so hard to put to put news out without somebody telling turning around and telling you you're wrong about something. So I'm very careful about that and have to keep saying that this is what it is right now. Well, if you're going to be careful about that, Billy, then you have no place in the wrestling media. <laughs> uh, yeah. the, the, the retribution gimmick is indicative of how creatively bankrupt WWE is. Super lame. You, you have retribution who's based on Antifa. Obviously, you know, basing it on Antifa is a, a bit of a stretch in the first place. But so retribution like Antifa are a group that relies on chaos to spread terror. And then at some point, they are going to be in a Royal Rumble match with rules adhering to fake wrestling dictum. They will have blown their own gimmick out of the water the first time they actually quote unquote perform. When you come up with a gimmick like that, there has to be an end game. They did it based on seeing Antifa all over the, the various news programs, but they had no idea how dumb it's going to look when they become just wrestlers. It is indicative of the fact that, frankly, they don't know what the f*** they're doing. Well, I'll tell you what they did do. Well, you're, that, ta- that you're, you're, me- you're, 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 you're taking out two major components of this. Uh, you're actually installing logic, and you're actually assuming that there's a modicum of intelligence when this is being booked, neither of which are true. So that's me- your problem right there, Mark. 